Two redneck idiots terrorize a group of college kids in the woods while they're on vacation. This sounds like the plot of a ton of different horror movies, and that's exactly the point on Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. The reason I'm talking about this little chestnut today is Henry Rangel over on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies requested it. And since he's a Mithril member over there, he gets to request movies and I have to say yes. Or I throw a fit and he changes it. But I usually don't. I'm like, okay, well, let's talk about this one. He chose well. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is a nice little flick. I saw it back in 2010. Obviously, I don't remember anything past last week. So I rewatched it with my wife. We both had a good time. She liked it even more than I did. And I was pretty fond of it. The movie is a beautiful glorious hour and a half long hour 29 to be exact according to imdb this movie's rated r for some swearing and a good amount of gore unfortunately there's no nudity in this one which kind of bucks the trend if you ask me especially when it's playing off tropes we do however get to see suri in her brown underwear for a little bit and for a 40 year old pervert like myself that's enough that's fine her character name's Allison. Her real name's Katrina Bowden. She's one of the college kids that goes off on this little misadventure into the woods. She doesn't really get to have much fun though as she freaks out when she's about to jump off a rock, lands on her head, gets knocked out unconscious because she sees two guys creeping on her. And those two guys are the titular characters, Tucker and Dale. Here's the spin on the movie and what makes it so fun. Tucker and Dale are actually good guys. They're just kind of dumbasses. Well, mainly just Tucker. Dale's actually very sharp. He's a big, lovable buffoon, but he's very intelligent. He just lacks confidence, mainly because Tucker is constantly chipping away at him. Tucker is played by Alan Tydek. I love this actor. He's always solid. Here is no exception. Tucker's just inherited a vacation home. It's this shitty cabin in the woods, needs a ton of work to say the least. There's booby traps, there's hornet's nests, there's all sorts of things that can kill a person very easily as these kids are gonna find out as the movie progresses. There's about seven or eight of these idiots who head up north. The leader, Chad, played by Jesse Moss, he's great. He's not all there when the movie starts and by the end, he's completely out of his gourd. The plot is simple and to the point and executed very well. Visually, looks great. I like how the cabin is dim lit, looks grungy, dark, dank. The woods are uninviting and everything is set up to kill everyone. Tucker and Dale look like your traditional serial killers you would find up in the backwoods of Montana. They go out for some good old fashioned night fishing when they see Allison up on a rock. She freaks out, falls into the water. They pull her into the boat and try to message her friends that they're keeping her safe at their cabin. This is of course misunderstood and the college kids think that Allison's about to be eaten alive. So they head out guns blazing at the cabin to save their friend only to get themselves killed off in spectacular fashion. One goes headfirst into a wood chipper. Another gets impaled through the stomach by a long piece of branch. And things don't turn out much better for the cop when he shows up either. It's really just a series of unfortunate events that not even Lemony Snicket could have imagined. Now on the negative end of things, I think the last 15 or so minutes starts to go downhill a bit. Once most of the kids are killed off and we're left with the psychopath, it starts to lose me a bit. Thankfully, like I said, the movie's only an hour and 29 long. So even when it starts to go a little, eh, we could end this already, it kind of already is starting to end already. Overall, a very fun watch that plays on a lot of the stereotypical things you see in horror flicks. Definitely one you should check out if you are a horror fan, if you like the scary movies, this plays on them very well. That's Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Thank you again, Henry, for being an awesome patron member and for the review request. I appreciate you and all supporters at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or on YouTube via the join button. All you have to do is be a member for even one month and your name is added to the queue, you give me a request and I'll get to it. If you like this video, please like the video, share around and subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of old and new movie reviews every single week. I'd love to have more people stick around. All right, take care.